fit and the complications of acute appendicitis. The question which uh, should ask yourself um, you have time in acute appendicitis or you don't have time sure we have time if the inflammation is minimal mild slowly progressive we don't have time if there is obstructive rapidly progressive severe inflammation therefore in non-obstructive appendicitis in non-obstructive appendicitis uh, the inflammation is mild and uh, the inflammation may resolve spontaneously but but later on usually the appendix is transformed to recurrent subacute appendicitis and recurrent acute attacks will occur also in uh, non-obstructive type if we have time uh, the body try to localize the inflammation to prevent a spread of infection all over the abdomen Therefore, the surrounding structure has loops of ileum with the policeman of the abdomen surround the area. What is the policeman of the abdomen? The policeman of the abdomen which tend to localize any leakage or contamination or infection in the abdomen is the greater omentum. Therefore, the cecum with loops of ileum and the greater omentum with adhesions surround the inflamed area and this condition is called appendicular mass what is the fate of the appendicular mass appendicular mass may resolve and usually resolve within few weeks especially with treatment but if the condition is not treated perforation inside the mass will occur leading to localized abscess around the appendix called the appendicular abscess the previous two feet is uh, we have time there is time and either resolution or localization with appendicular mass and maybe abscess later on but if obstructive appendicitis with rapid progressive severe inflammation gangrene and perforation will occur within two days or 48 hours if gangrene occur and perforation um, what is the result and what is the age group liable for this condition? Children below five years are more liable for perforation because the wall of the appendix is very thin in this age and late diagnosis because it is difficult to diagnose appendicitis and the condition usually diagnosed as uh, gastroenteritis delay of diagnosis one or two days leading to with thin wall of the appendix leading to perforation in this child and in elderly in elderly the appendicular vessels are atherosclerotic very weak very easy to obstruct very easy gangrene therefore gangrene usually in the rare patient in the extremities of age usually the perforation occurs suddenly with poor general resistance in this patient with spread of inflammation all over the abdomen leading to acute generalized septic peritonitis or 
Perforation may occur in appendicular mass, leading to appendicular abscess. Or, if the patient lies flat in bed and perforation occur, the bus and the contaminated material does not spread all over the abdomen. Leakage of the appendix and due to perforation, the fluid will pass will pass to the area below the diaphragm leading to subphrenic abscess. What is the fate of uh, the abscess? The fate of the abscess is pointing and the rupture of the abscess either on the anterior abdominal wall, anterior wall of rectum, vagina, or appendicular abscess may boom, rupture leading to acute generalized septic peritonitis. Therefore, resolution or appendicular mass in non obstructive type. Gangrene and the perforation in obstructive type with all its possibilities. The fourth complication is local spread of infection to the surrounding structure. Local spread of infection to the cica, to the loops of ileum, to the rectum, to the female genital system in females to the uterus, uterine tube, ovary, to the urinary tract, ureter or urinary bladder, or to the surrounding muscles, to, in this position of the appendix, which is called the retrocecal appendix, which is the commonest position of the appendix, the appendix behind the cecum. This appendix is related anteriorly to the cecum and posteriorly to psoas major muscle, leading to irritation of psoas major. Or the second common appendix is this appendix below the cecum in the pelvis, called the pelvic appendix. This appendix touching the lateral pelvic wall which is muscle called obturator internus muscle. Spread and the irritation of surround structure play an important role in the clinical picture as we will see later on. Finally, and very, very rarely, in this position, especially this, Appendix bus behind the terminal ilium. Bus behind the terminal ilium thus come in contact with a vein called the iliocolic vein. If the appendix behind the ilium and touching the iliocolic vein, septic infection and the thrombosis occur in this vein. Septic or suburative thrombosis in the portal vein or its, or its tributaries is called biliflebitis. Therefore, biliflebitis may occur in retroileal appendix due to septic thrombophlebitis of iliocolic vein. Or if the appendicitis uh, produces thrombosis in the appendicular vein, the septic thrombosis, septic thrombophlebitis, propagate from appendicular vein to the iliocolic vein. And the septic thrombosis in the iliocolic vein propagate to superior mesenteric vein to the portal vein. And during propagation of this septic thrombophlebitis in the portal circulation, septic emboli pass in the portal circulation to the liver, leading to multiple suburative liver abscesses. This is a highly fatal condition called 
bilophlebitis which is means septic thrombophlebitis of portal vein or its tributaries and the condition is associated with severe fever chills and due to hepatitis and abscess in the liver the patient have jaundice and if the patient live live of this patient the patient will be not normal if by intensive treatment and etc the patient live the portal vein is obstructed by septic thrombophlebitis leading to portal hypertension this is very important to oral questions what is the relation between appendicitis and jaundice or what is the relation between appendicitis and the septic thrombophlebitis or what is the relation between appendicitis and the portal hypertension all the same answer retroelial appendix or septic thrombophlebitis in appendicular vein to the iliocolic vein to the portal vein with septic emboli leading to jaundice multiple abscess in the liver and obstruction of uh, portal vein leading to portal hypertension and this condition is very very rare and highly fatal if occur therefore the complications of uh, amencitis are spontaneous resolution but the condition becomes recurrent subacute uh, appendicitis with recurrent acute attack or localization of infection by <coughs> appendicular uh, mass or perforation perforation leading to generalized peritonitis or appendicular abscess or subphrenic abscess is spread of infection to a surrounding structure and very rarely by leaflet bites Thank you for good listening and good luck.